Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vloggy vlog 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 vlog. It's a very, very exciting one. There's a little him behind me. Eek! Oop! <laughs> just had a text from Emily. I've just arrived at my destination. I'm meeting M for a school. But I've definitely arrived in style. And I was so excited to finally be able to share this with you guys. Literally, pinch me moment. Never in a million years did I think I would be able to tell you that I am showing you today my brand new Equitrek Sonic lorry. Horse lorry. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> proper, proper pinch me moment. Now, disclaimer, I will admit, when I say mine, it's not mine. It is Equitrex. It is very kindly loaned to me as part of our sponsorship deal. Um, and it's by no means free, so that is my disclaimer. It's not just been given to me, stroke us, has it, boyo? But it still is a pretty big deal and a pretty big pinch me moment because we're very, very lucky, aren't we, Banks? So you're very, very lucky you get to travel in style. What I do need, though, guys, before I show you it properly, is your help because we had Elsa the Equidrek, Daisy the Day Trekker, and now we have something the sonic sonic elite not ellie i need your help help me name her so i've literally had her five days now um and yeah can't believe it it's just super 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 exciting feel very very oh odd gloves how have i managed that feel very lucky to work with equitrek and to be able to help promote the brand to my following by driving his lordship around in this. As I said, it is a three and a half ton Sonic. So it can be driven by anybody with a normal... Why have I parked so close to the... <laughs> I'm so used to thinking that I get out of here and then my trailer's back there. I am not actually going to be able to put the ramp down. <laughs> Em's going to be like, what is she doing outside? Yeah, what was I saying? It can be driven by anybody with a standard car license. It has a payload, I believe, of 1,100 kilograms. So it means you can take a large horse easily with all your belongings. And you can also take two small ponies and some belongings. So yeah, it's a really good size and a really good payload for this size of lorry. Like I say, other, like, other size lorries you do need to have a different standard of, li of license to drive. So you can drive this on a normal, tradi traditional, a <laughs> normal, a standard car, UK car driving license. Oh my goodness. My excitable voice is far too excitable. I'm gonna get changed, get in school banks, because otherwise Em will be cross with me. She's here, look. <laughs> and yeah, I will insert some footage here of when I picked her up last week. And please do comment below if you've got any ideas of names that we can name her because we can't have her not having a name, can we? I've been going out of my head, I've been waiting for someone to give me help. All I'm asking for is just some space and some time, then I'll be alright. I've been having thoughts in my mind. about having her is, and I know this from when I borrowed the other Sonic a couple of winters ago, when it is horrible weather, you don't have to go out and round to get to your tap out in the tap locker. You can simply just walk through here. And grab it. So you'll have seen, if you've watched my previous two videos, that last weekend when I went up to film with Horse and 
entry for the back to basics eventing that was when I was initially going to be picking the Sonic up on the Friday however the snow put pay to that and she unfortunately got stuck in Sheffield Sound square place oh boy yeah they weren't able to get her out of Sheffield unfortunately which meant that I ended up having to stay in Gloucestershire area or Worcestershire area a little bit longer but it did mean that I then collected her on the Monday morning ahead of the long drive back to Cornwall you were such a good boy you traveled amazingly didn't you um, however I didn't want to film collecting her because he'd been in the trailer quite a long time and then obviously we still had like a five hour journey so I did film a few sneaky snippets of her when she was brand new and immaculate I am yet to decide exactly where everything is going to live however I have put in this little storage compartment both of my competition hats and my body protector and some spare competition clothes just so but I've always got that in there for comp days I have bought my standard schooling or training hat for today though so I don't need to wear one of my competition hats Doo -doo 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 and pop my boots on and we'll be ready to rock and roll the weather as i said hasn't been great in cornwall today so em and i decided we would meet up here and have a bit of a flat work session with the ponies because we haven't done anything like that for absolutely ages i was meant to be jumping with them at colrain at the weekend but unfortunately i had a little bit of a dilemma at home on the saturday which meant I was not in the right headspace for taking Banks out on the Sunday so I listened to my gut, trusted it and just went on foot and took some photos of her so I was hoping that was going to be our first outing, a proper competition outing in yet to be named Lori however you've just got a bit of flat work, a bit of schooling and a bit of me holding myself accountable for actually getting out there and doing it that was one of the things now having this little lorry and not having a trailer means I don't have to say to Rob babe can I have the ranger or can I have the van can I have a towing vehicle if he is using it or at golf or the company car the ranger was a company car so if that was out with a customer or anything like that <laughs> he's having a good girl with his helmet in there um, yeah it could sometimes 90% of the time it was absolutely fine but on the odd occasion I could be a little bit stranded with not having a vehicle to tow so when this opportunity came up it literally was a rabbit with both hands oh talking of both hands I thought I was gonna need both hands then to do that boot up but I have managed it yeah truly truly a very very lucky girly and you Banksy Boo are a very very lucky boy aren't you hey <laughs> Yes, travelling in style, well and truly. Right, let's pop this bridle on and go find Em and Addy Waddy Woo Woo. Hello. You right?
was nice. Oh, we haven't done pony fun for ages. <laughs> not on each other's, po not on our own ponies with each other. We've been there on foot with each other, but not with all four of us. Good girl, Waddy Woo. Good girl. Well done, Addy. So where she bounces them. <laughs> oh, good girl, glad I did you guys get it. <laughs> yeah, it's so hard with babies to know when's, when's one more time or when's too much. Well, hard always with all of them, but babies even more so. Yeah, because you could go, no, I know she's just a bit tired now. <laughs> Good girl, Waddy. She tries very hard, bless her. Well, she is Waddy, yeah. Well, what's she going to be again? Maya, yeah. Maya. <laughs> She's definitely Addy Waddy Woo Woo. You're a good boy, Binks, aren't you? I just noticed something. What? Out of oh. all the riding types we own, <laughs> we're twinning. Yeah. Twinning is always winning. I'm not putting my arms up because I know I've got to <laughs> You've been working hard. I was sweating. I, I was just wondering if you could have a name suggestion for me. You know, we had Elsa the Equitrek. Oh, uh, yeah. And then we had Daisy the Day Trekker. Did I say Daisy? I think you might have actually. Oh, I yeah, I, I think you did. did. Yeah, because I think I said something else first. Can't remember Delilah. what. Delilah. Delilah. Yeah, it didn't quite have the same ring to it as Daisy. Um, yay, ponies! Well, this is a Equitrek Sonic. So I initially said Sally the Sonic, but then that just makes me think of Lightning McQueen, Sally the Porsche. Right. Okay. So it can't be Sally. People might have already commented with a suggestion below, but I'll let you have a bit of thinking time. She's like, you might need to see her. Sasha. Sasha. Ooh. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> or does it mean you go when you go places you win sashes? Yeah. <laughs> do we need to get into showing? <laughs> <laughs> I am thinking, Banks, we might do a veteran class one day somewhere. Huh. Now we're veterans, or you're vet well, I've always been a veteran. <laughs> it is 16, isn't it? I think. Or over 15. I think it's over 15. What's the SEIB class that oh, side note, thanks SEIB. <laughs> Obviously the lovely Laurie needed. <laughs> Top notch insurance. So SEIB come to the rescue as always. It's their 60th year anniversary this year. We are going somewhere exciting with them, aren't we? I don't know where it is, so I'm, I'm not going to say. Do you know what? It's on my birthday, is all I know. <laughs> Which will be fun. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll let you know about that nearer the time. My birthday is July the 4th, American Independence Day. <laughs> but yeah, do check them out. I'll put their link in the description below if you need trailer, horse box, or horse insurance, veteran policy. Yeah, I think it's over 15, isn't it, for veterans? Yeah, they do, they're actually one of the best companies, and that isn't just a ploy, because no, they you, get to a certain yeah. age, and then they won't cover certain, any, things, certain things, or numerous things, oh, kisses. And I want to say it is 25 or 26. All um, the way up. It, they'll cover you had to have a vetted or something, didn't you? A re, like MOT, or am I imagining That's, that? That was for something. Oh. Yes, to be a certain. Yeah, that was ages ago. But now she's actually gone into the other class that they'll still cover things, but not like internal. Yeah. Well, exactly. Thing, like you wouldn't put an old, old horse. I'm not saying she's old, old, Granny Sprite. But you wouldn't put them through like colic surgery or no, anything like no, that anyway, would no, you? No, no, no. Exactly that. So. But, but knowing that you can take her out competing or doing, you know that her limbs and everything are still. Yeah. Oh, covered. And baby policies, Addy. Are you the baby model? Are you they? Trailer policies and Equitrek Sally Sonic.
that doesn't have a name policy. <laughs> I said, oh, when I insured it, I was like, oh, it is quite expensive. I said, I know when the trailer was insured, you had to get, like, get a special check to make sure it is definitely covered. And then I was like, actually, in comparison to lorries, this isn't expensive, is it? He said, no, I did one the other day for £700,000. I was like, that's more than most people's houses. I know, imagine that. Imagine having a lorry like that. I mean, I just want to live in it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> There's me hideously over the moon excited about three and a half ton. <laughs> People have the ones like we stayed in at camp at Field Farm. Exactly. With the pop out sides and five I double beds. When I saw William Fox Pitt drive in, then Mary King drive in, and it's just... just <laughs> it's another world, isn't it? it? Is. But all of these things, no matter what we have, do need insuring. Because it's not only the insurance for the... Um, vehicle or object to themselves, it's a public liability, isn't it? Which is very, very, very important. Right, do you think we've walked them off enough? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I think so too, because my arm's we'll starting to ache. First, so we can put them away, then come back and put them away, and then come back and put the poles away. It was a good, that little square exercise was good. And I think next time we do counter poles, we'll do like five or six. <laughs> Make it even harder. <laughs> it's fine, maybe we'll do it in the outdoor school so that you can actually do it on the curve of the track where um, you would be yeah. riding to make it that little bit easier. I put it there because I thought you could come off with the square because I was going to put it I in did, corner, but it's blinking hard. I that they both find that corner ever spooky. spooky. Yeah. So I was like, actually, I'm not going to put it in the Tray, 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 true, tray, true. Right, I'm going to dismount. That was fun. I was going to say thanks for inviting me, but actually it was my suggestion for a change. <laughs> Shock horror. Home sweet home. And then look, when I switch from normal driving mode where you can see Banksy Boo and the camera into reverse we end up with the gate behind me which I need to get out and open <laughs> very clever and those yellow lines showing me that I'm lined up perfectly ready to reverse through it literally has Oh, the mod cons! I'm feeling a very, very lucky girly right now, and it just is going to enable me to do so much more on my own with Banksy. As I said last weekend, I went up and did the horse and country filming, back to basics of venting. And although I had the van and the trailer, it would just be so much more easier going just the two of us in this. I've been pushing myself out of my comfort zone to do a lot more on my lonesome and to grab and embrace every opportunity that I can and having this lorry is literally just going to enable that and those things to happen so much easier. We travel a lot of miles being down here in Cornwall and when we get opportunities like that to go and do filming and training, even go up to Cameron's for a lesson like I regularly did last summer up at Rollstone, it's just going to be so much more A fuel efficient and B time efficient. Talking of time, it's quarter to six now and I have got my call with Katie, my sports psychologist, at six o'clock. So I'm going to get reversed in, get the boy unloaded and yeah, get inside and get on my call because that is priority. I'm really benefiting massively from having these sessions with Katie. It's an hour a week out of my life, but it's an hour that is yeah, hugely beneficial and has impacted my life very positively over the last, I think it's five or six months we've been having these calls now. And yeah, I really, really do appreciate the time that she gives me and the benefits that the therapy sessions are having for my self belief and self positivity and awareness and as I say embracing opportunities like this like yeah feel a very very lucky girl thanks he's a very very lucky boy super grateful to continue to collaborate with Equitrack Oop, was the camera pointing the right way and yeah you'll see lots more of soon to be named Laurie over the coming vlogs but for now I'm gonna get him sorted, get inside and get on my psychology call. So thank you for watching guys. It is because of you guys that I am able to embrace these opportunities and I am, as I say, forever grateful. I do pinch myself, I do feel a very lucky girl. Despite knowing that I do work hard and work lots of hours, I do also feel extremely lucky and extremely grateful for you guys for watching the videos and supporting me on this epic journey with my bestest boy. On that note, stop talking Tina, get him sorted and yeah, I'll see you all very soon. I'm actually going on another extremely exciting journey adventure tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm going tomorrow or Wednesday. I'm going within the next couple of days and it's not set in stone exactly when I'm leaving. 
I'll have been by the time this goes live. Actually, I might not. This might go live tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure. So like, comment, subscribe, ring the notifications bell because vlogs are uploading left, right and centre at the moment and I will see you all very, very soon. But for now, bye Z, bye. I'm actually going to sign out. Bye.